SuperOffice CRM gives you the ability to store and track what type of communications a person wants to receive. This is what we call subscription management. Using these features, you can send your target audiences relevant and expected communications that will give you better results from your mailings. In this video, we will show you where a contact subscription preferences are stored in SuperOffice, how you can make a selection of your target group based on subscription types. Let's begin by showing you where to find an individual contact's subscription preferences. Here we have Mark Bridges. On his contact card, go to Interests. This is where you will see whether the e-marketing button is switched on or switched off. When it is switched on, it means that he has said yes to receiving your communications and you will see all the subscription types your company has available for your contacts. Mark has said yes to receive news and invitations. The particular subscription types you see here are default suggestions by SuperOffice. You can change these to fit your own communication types and settings and maintenance. As a user of SuperOffice CRM, you are not able to set a contact's preferences by default. It is only the contact that can manage his or her own subscription preferences. To adjust the contact's subscriptions, you need to have specific rights that your administrator can assign you. When the e-marketing button is switched off, it means that your contact hasn't signed up for any of your communications or they have asked to be taken off your mailing list. When this is the case, the underlying mailing subscription types will not be visible. Now you know where you can see a contact subscription preferences. Next, we will show you how you can create a selection of the target group for your mailing based on a subscription type. To create a new selection, click the New button and choose Selection from the drop-down menu. Give your selection a name. We will create a selection of companies and contacts. You can choose three different types of selections, static, dynamic, or combined. In this example, we will use a dynamic selection. When you use a dynamic selection, your target group will automatically be updated each time you refresh it. Press Save. Next, we will add the selection criteria we want these contacts to share. In this example, we want to make a selection of all the contacts that have subscribed to the mailing called News. Click the Add button to add your selection criteria. The Add Edit Search Criteria dialog will now appear. To add your selection criteria, click on the arrow behind Field. In the drop-down menu that appears, scroll down to find Contact and click on it. SuperOffice will show you a list with all the fields from the contact card you can choose from. Scroll all the way down and select Subscription. In the Add Edit Search Criteria dialog, make sure your field is set to Is One Off. Then select the subscription type you wish to use. For this example, we will select News. Now click on the arrow in the middle to move the subscription type from the left box to the right. Click OK. Click on the Refresh button to load all the contacts. All your contacts subscribing to News will now be visible in your selection. This is how you can create a selection of your desired target group based on a mailing subscription. You can, of course, make your selection more specific by adding additional selection criteria and in that way increase your chances of success. We have now shown you where a contact subscription preferences are stored in SuperOffice and how you can make a selection of your target group based on subscription types. For more information on how to improve your productivity with SuperOffice CRM, please visit our community website.